So, what's on the menu tonight? Tonight we're having Sunday dinner meatloaf. Ooh, we. We're gonna start with a little bit of vegetable oil heated up in the pan, and we're gonna saute half of a yellow onion and a clove of garlic minced. You can always add more. I like to add a little bit more than a clove just because I like garlic, but. Saute those together until they're, you know, browned a little bit. Once your onions turn a little bit translucent, then that means that they're softened enough. And then you just put it to the side and let it cool. So we're gonna make the sauce for the meatloaf next while our onions and garlic cool. First, you're gonna start with one can of jellied cranberry sauce. One cup of barbecue sauce. One fourth cup of sweet chili sauce. Two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Three tablespoons of brown sugar. Now we're gonna mix this together and let it come to a simmer. Make sure you mix it up really good. Make sure there are no lumps in your brown sugar. And you want that cranberry sauce to kind of melt down. For your meatloaf, you're gonna start with one pound of ground beef, one pound of ground pork, One cup of panko breadcrumbs. One egg. And for your seasonings, we're using salt, pepper, dried parsley, ground onion, and ground garlic. You just season to your liking. I use about Mm, half a tablespoon to a tablespoon of each. And then for the dried parsley, I do about two to three tablespoons, depending on how much you want in there. And then you just mix with your hands. It's really messy, but get in there and mix it all together. Once that's all mixed, you're gonna add your sauteed onion and garlic. And combine once again. Once everything is nice and mixed into your meat, then you're going to take it Put it on a foil lined pan. And then we're going to give it that classic meatloaf shape. Now that we have that classic meatloaf shape, we're going to put it in our preheated oven that's at 375 degrees for one hour. After one hour, you're gonna take your meatloaf out of the oven and glaze it with your sauce. Once your meatloaf is completely glazed, you're going to put it back in the oven for another 30 minutes. Once your meatloaf is done and out of the oven, you're going to add just a little more glaze to it. You're gonna have a lot of glaze left over. I know we love to have sauce on the side. Just extra, because it's delicious. 
This meatloaf is great with mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, green beans, broccoli.